Hello everyone, welcome back to Gitroy Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix the finals is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even the black screen issue which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one, whenever you are having an issue with this one, the first one what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the start. Click on the power icon over here and just go for a simple restart. Once the restart is successfully done, just try launch the game and you have to see that is going to work for you guys or not. Because sometimes, you know, a simple restart can fix a lot of issue. So that is why we are recommending you can start with a simple restart. Once you are done with the restart, if the issue is still there, we can try move to the next step. That is all about we can try launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. So we are here with the Steam and we are trying to launch the game. So you can try launching the game from the installation folder instead of launching it from the Steam. So just go over here in the game, right click and we have to go to the properties, go to the installed file and just click on the browse. So that will redirect you to the installation folder. So check over here at the top, there is this PC, localist C, program file x86, Steam, Steam amps, common, the final playtest. Now from here, we can try launch the game from here. So launch the game from the installation folder. For me personally, it worked for many of the games. That is why I'm recommending you can try this out. So it even it worked for many issues, you can try this out as well. Next one, we can also try two more steps from here. And one among this, we have to run the game as an administrator. So just go over here in the game, right click. We have to go to the show more option, go to the properties, go to compatibility. Click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game. So sometimes running the game as an administrator can fix a lot of trouble so we can try this out. If that is not the case we have to move to the next one that we have to run the game, we have to run the game as or we have to run the game in the compatibility mode. So just go over here in the right click, go to show more option, go to properties, compatibility. Click on run this program in the compatibility mode. You have to set this to Windows 7 and go for apply and go for ok. Or you can set this to Windows 8, go for apply and go for ok. Most probably when you set this to Windows 7, that is where it's going to help you guys out. So in my knowledge, it worked for many, many games. Even many users commented in the comment section. This particular step helped for them. So you can try this out as more. So this is going to work for you guys as well. Just go for ok. Once after done with this one, just go over here and we can move to the next step. That is all about we have to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. So just launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab. So when you launch the game and when you press the Alt and Tab, it worked for many users and I found this from the Reddit. So that is why I'm sharing you can try this out. Sometimes this might even work as well. Next one is all about nothing but we have to launch the game. Apart from this, we have to move over here and make sure the date, time and region is correct. So just go over here in the search. We have to navigate to the settings. Go for time and language. Go to the date and time. So just go over here in the time zone. Time automatically and we have to turn this on and this on as well. Just go over here in the settings and go to the language and region. Now from here, we have to make sure that you have to select the appropriate country. For example, if you're from United States, you have to set United States and afterwards you have to go to the United Kingdom if you're from United Kingdom. So select the country according to your geography and once you set this up, just close everything and we have to go back, try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to, uh, we just need to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer, go to this PC, go to local disk, uh, we have to navigate to first go to the documents. Now from here we have to select any one of the games from here if the game is there and you have to delete the folder or go to my games and if you find the folder here just delete the folder and keep in mind when you do this you will be losing all the progressions of the game but that is fine you can do this and once afterwards just close everything go back try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to allow the game to Windows security. Just go over here in the search we have to navigate to the control panel. Go for system and security. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow Napur feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now keep scrolling down and navigate to the game. 
the final playtest so over here if you find the game the final the playtest you have to keep in mind you have to make sure the game is already added so the game is already added the finals and the final playtest is added make sure both the private and public has to be checked and there is one more step that you have to keep in mind if the game is not here we can add it by default just click on the change settings and go for allow another app and go for browse that will take you to over here and go to this PC, go to local disk C, program file x86, go for Steam and we have to navigate to Steam apps and we have to go to the common. Now from here we have to navigate to the finals over here. Keep scrolling down and navigate to the finals playtest and select this one and we have to go for open and we have to go for add. I'll be getting the error because uh, once you add the game, it's already there that is why I'm getting the error. Once you add the game, just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search, search for system configuration and go for services, go for disable all, you just need to click on disable all and go for hide all Microsoft services and what we need to do is we just need to go for apply and we have to go for ok and once it is done, once it is done we just need to try launch the game and that will be working fine. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to uh, disable the steam overlay so just go over here in the game right click and we have to go to the properties make sure if enable the steam overlay while in game if it is turned on we have to turn this off try launch the game if that is not working we have to go for the uh, giving the commands in the launch option which is another step that we have to give the commands in the launch option dx11 first give the command dx11 try launch the game if dx11 is not working Try with giving the command DX12 and try launch the game and that will be working fine. So you can try with either the DX11 will be working fine or the DX12 will be working fine. You can try with any one of the things and that will be working fine. Even given the commands if the issue is still there you can try launch the game. If that is not working we can move to the next one. That is all about we have to close all the overlay applications. So we just need to go over here in the start right click and we have to navigate to the task manager. Now from here as you can see we have to make sure that a lot of things are running in the background. So if you find for example this code which comes to the category of overlay application and overclocking applications are such as Riva Tuner, MSA Afterburner and all these are one of the ex uh, example for this. So if these things are running in the background you will be definitely having the trouble. Even if the RAM of a computer or the configuration is too low you will be definitely having the worst nightmare. So just remove the unwanted things from here and once afterwards close everything and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to nothing but we need to unplug all the usb devices so we might be connected with multiple monitors we might be connected with multiple controllers we might be connected with multiple joystick and all these are one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue i don't know how these are interrelated but even this brings a lot of mess so that is the case we just have to unplug everything and once afterwards uh, you have to try launch the game once the game is successfully launched and you are into the game afterwards you have to connect it back and try and that is gonna work for you guys as well next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search and we have to navigate to the graphics settings now from here we just need to keep scrolling down and we have to add the game so here already if the game is added we are fine with it but the game is not added just click on the browse navigate to the installation folder that is local to c go to program file x86 Keep scrolling down, navigate to Steam and we have to navigate to Steam apps, navigate to common. Now from here we have to navigate to the final, uh, fi sorry it is over here, the finals will be here. So okay, the final playtest, select this one, select this one and go for add. So once the game is already added, so it is already added, select this one and go for option. By default this would be let windows decide, we have to change this to high performance and go for save. Once you save this to high performance and go for save, just close everything. We have to go back, try launch the game and that will be working fine. Next one is all about nothing but we need to increase the virtual memory which is a very important step. Just go over here in the search, we have to navigate to view advanced system setting. Go to the advanced tab, go to the settings once again, advanced once again, go for change. Make sure this is blank and we have to select the local disk C. Go for the custom size and set the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So just go over here and we need a calculator so just go for the calculator. Just type your RAM that is 32 GB. Multiply it with constant value 1024 and we have to multiply it with 1.5. That brings you 14 and 152. Just copy this and paste it. Next one we have to navigate to the maximum size. 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 
that brings you 98 304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it just go for everything ok and once afterwards just close everything go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to uninstall and reinstall the game this is we can also done so just go over here go to the manage and uninstall the game for reinstalling it back you have to keep in mind you should not be installing it back on the same local disk from which you uninstall you have to try a new local disk next one we need to update the graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to the nvidia so the nvidia over here you can see you can get complete details like you have to go for the product type we have to select the product series should be selected you have to select the os on which os you are running actually windows 11 you have to go for etc and go for a start search and once you go for a start search what we need to do is we just need to keep scrolling down and the version is 545.92 version is the driver version and we have to release uh, the release date is october 26 2023 which is the latest one which is on yesterday so just download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game if you're on the amd just go over here in the graphics card and we have to go for submit and when you go for submit if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 you can try downloading this one if you're on the uh, microsoft you should see plus plus you can see this you can also try installing this if the system is based on x64 download this one if the system is based on x86 you can try downloading this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game also keep in mind we need to update the windows so just go over here and navigate to the settings and we have to go to windows update make sure the windows is up to date and if you're getting any kind of these kind of cumulative update just update it as well and once afterwards we can try the last step that we have to verify integrity of game file so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties and we have to go to the install it file just click on verify integrity of game file so this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so try these steps and this will cross check every single things and once afterwards it will be helping you guys out how to fix this app and that is what we have to do so we just need to wait this to reach 100 percentage and once afterwards you are fine with it most probably you know trying out these steps will be working fine for you guys and this will be helping you guys out to fix the issue up and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye